Look at that. What is this? It's a cup. Is, is this coffee? There's a little bit. A little bit of coffee or water, something like that. I want to be coffee, man. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm Thanks good. for coming to New York. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Now, I should be calling you head coach. You coached me in the... Yeah, I'm the coach, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you had, like, zero points. Yeah. <laughs> but, but your defense, your energy was great. Like, you, you were a great teammate. That's what people tell me all the time, but that didn't really translate to uh, online props. <laughs> I got roasted bad. Look, I just think in the future, we got to divide it up. We got pro athletes over here and then civilians. Because we got DK Metcalf sledgehamming on people. That's my guy. That, I mean, he's great. As the MVP. You but I'm a 37-year-old like... Indian man, and we're all <laughs> we're playing with each other. Yeah. Um, listen, man, how's the knee feeling? I got to ask you that. Uh, feels good. Feels great. OK, OK. So, so you're going to recover? Are you good? I feel no pain. I'm good, man. So you <laughs> yeah. So look, we're here. We're here in New York, because we're obviously here to talk about an amazing foundation that you have. And one of the things you are so proud to share with the world is how much you love your family. Yeah. I don't know if you know this about Giannis, but I kind of find it annoying at times. You're always like, my name is Giannis. I love my family. I love, <laughs> I love my brothers. And then my family gets mad at me. And they're like, why don't you talk about us this way? And I'm like, he's hiding something. That's, that's what a person with a secret does. No, no, I, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be in this position that I'm sitting today without my family. Yeah. You know, without the, the sacrifices that, <laughs> without the sacrifice that my parents made every yeah. single day to provide for us, uh, to put us in a position to have the opportunity to go out there and accomplish our dreams and goals in life. You know, I wouldn't be here without them. You know, obviously, um, it's been six years now, 2017, six years that uh, my dad has passed away, and it's. Um, you know, on, in honor of him, uh, and as I've said in the past, and I've said a lot of times, like, he had no money. He, had, he was poor. He came from Nigeria to have a better life, and we were his legacy, you know? And I could feel, like, growing up, like, he was the richest person in the neighborhood because he always felt rich because he had us, you know? And so, you know, we decided, uh, we decided as family to come together and, you know, build this foundation to basically just do what people did for us, you know, just pull our hand out there and give them the opportunity to be great in whatever they decide to do uh, and kind of help them be that step for them to go out there and uh, accomplish their dreams the same way I did, you know. And it's my a beautiful did. thing, man. It's the Char Charles Antetokounmpo Family Foundation. And what's so cool about it is you're focusing on three different places, Milwaukee, Nigeria, Greece. and Greece which is such an integral part of your identity. Now, as a child of immigrants, you're an immigrant. Is it weird being here in America and then being around people who don't love their family? <laughs> you know what I mean? When people are like, my mom is toxic. Like, is that weird to you? Yeah, you know. Uh... You know what I mean? Like, when you see mom sell on your phone, you pick it up, right? I have to. That's what I'm saying. I have no choice. But people think we're crazy. I'm like, I'm, there's no way this is going four rings. Are you crazy? No, you have to pick it up. Yeah, that's why. Yes. Like, you say you're 37. I'm 37. What was the last time your mom whooped your ass? Like 35? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> so, yeah. so it's, well, see, it's emotionally whooped my ass this morning. She's like, Oh, you're not gonna call me before your first day at the Daily Show? I'm like, Mom, I'm busy. Yeah, no, nah, she suplexes me emotionally all the time. But I got, I gotta take it. We, we, me too, but uh, <laughs> I, I'm going to pick up the phone, you know. Uh, but at the end of the day, like, as a, you know, in some, or not every relationship are the best, you yeah. know, but uh, at the end of the day, you just got to make it work. Uh, but for me, it's easy with my brothers. We, we slept in the same bed, you know, like I was, I had his feet on my face, you know, uh -huh. I had his, <laughs> you know, so. Yeah. so a lot, no, you guys don't know that. Like, when you go, back to the motherland. Sometimes you got to do head to toe, yeah, toe to yeah, head. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you like, it's like reverse Lego logs. You're, yeah. So, yeah. so we, we, we're very close. We try to protect one another yeah. uh, as much as we can. We try to advise one another. And that's how my dad raised us. Not my dad, let's just see. And my mom also, right. my, my mom and dad. You know, if one don't eat, nobody eats. If, like he, not me, because I'm the third one, but like, Fanaz is in backstage, like, he had 
the most pressure out of all of us because like my dad was on him like protect your brothers like look after your brothers you know make sure your brothers uh, get to school make sure your brothers did, did like we were raised to be together mm -hmm. uh, so that's why our family has been this way uh, but you know there's a lot of times that you know uh, sometimes it gets it gets crazy but yeah. we just have patience you got five brothers bro that's nuts yeah and I was roasting you the other day and my brother got in your face. I right? know, I know. Because <laughs> I was telling, we were playing horse back and forth, and I, I can't beat him physically, obviously. But I was like, I gotta, I gotta defeat him mentally. So we're playing horse, and in the middle of the game, you're shooting a free throw, and I'm like, what's it like being the middle child? That means <laughs> you're the least loved by your mom. And I did my research, I'm like, you know who your mom loves the most? Alex. And you were like, <laughs> clank, I'm like, let's go! It's, it's crazy, that, that's true. It, it's crazy. See, this is, what, this is what people love about you, Giannis. You love your family. You have humility. I'm talking smack to your face and you're like, it's cool. <laughs> then, I don't know if you've seen this about Giannis, there is the groundbreaking tweet you had in 2014, and it, you talk about your love of sweets. You love American sweets. Let's talk about the smoothie. Oh, the smoothie. Yes. <laughs> you go, I just taste for the first time a smoothie. God bless America. All right? I was so excited. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> it's crazy. And uh, since then, you may have not seen this, but like, I think it was a recent press conference. You're like, I didn't know you could dunk Oreos and milk. This is crazy. Like, so you're just enjoying all of these American sugary sweets. But I wanted to, to open up your world a little bit. And I wanted to introduce you to more sweets because there's nothing more American than diabetes <laughs> and early onset obesity. So. You obviously talk about Skittles. Skittles is your candy of choice this yes. year. I saw that on IG. Obviously, you love smoothies. We've talked about the dunking the Oreo situation. Um, have you had these? This is a fruit roll-up. No. I have a game tomorrow, man. Come, Come on. on, let's go. We got to do it right here on TV. I need your taste. Giannis, we've seen you play. We need the Giannis taste test. Let's have a bite. No, no, there's a rapper, there's a rapper, there's a rapper, there's a rapper, there's a rapper. There's a rapper, there's a rapper. Okay. Oh, come okay. here, there's a rapper. Let's go, let's go. Here we go. Thoughts? Taste? This is good. Yeah? <laughs> Sour? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me, let me get the other one too, man. Yeah, you want the other one? <laughs> All right, here we go. Take this one later, yeah. All right. All right. Now look. Growing up, as a Muslim, I could not have these, but I brought them for you. This is a Hostess Snowball. And I've always wanted to eat one of these, but they have pork gelatin in them. And so I brought them here for you so you could eat the devil's candy. <laughs> Tell me what you think. I'm just gonna live vicariously through you. No. No? So I'm not missing out on anything? Okay. No. Yeah. <laughs> you know what year they made that? What year? 1981. <laughs> These things can survive the zombie apocalypse. This, is, this was good. This was good? I'll be honest with you, this All was right. good. Let me ask you a question. What's your, what's your cereal of choice? Uh, Fruit Loops or um, the Cinnamon Toast. Cinnamon thing. Toast Crunch? Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Yeah. You know, as, a, as an NBA vet, that's kind of a rookie choice. <laughs> Giannis, have you had <clears throat> Reese's Puffs? No. The time is now. I'm gonna un this right now. We need some milk, we need the ball. No, I just, want, I just want straight up. If you, do you like Reese's Pieces? Do you like Reese's Peanut Butter Cup? The, cho the chocolate ones? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else would I be referring to? Ah. <laughs> no, no, no. Go for it. Let me see. Go for it. Please. Just straight up, thoughts. It's good. Do you, 
Now imagine this with milk. Do you rank it? Do you rank it up there with your top two? Yes. This is really good. I like this. I like this. Okay. This is not bad. All right. Keep it. You keep that. You keep that. All right. That's all you. That's all you, bro. I told you. I told you if you come to the show, I'll hook you up. You didn't think it was going to be like this. Look, I, I got to do something for the culture. I'm hosting the show, and I can't just be giving you these American products. I got to blow your brain out. I didn't say that right. I didn't say that right. I got to blow your mind. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that right. I didn't say that. You got to blow What if I got nervous and be like, I got to blow your back out? I was like, no. I got to blow your mind right now, Giannis. This right here. You know what I mean? I think it's that. This right here. It's a personal delicacy. On behalf of all of South Asia. This right here, Giannis, is what we call a gulab jamun. A what? Do you like donuts? Yes. Now imagine. Who don't like donuts? Everybody loves donuts. Now imagine if you took a donut hole and you were like, go harder in the paint. Let's take that donut hole mm -hmm. and douse it in syrup. That, my friend, is a gulab jamun. Here you go. You made this? I didn't make this. This is from me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I can't, I can't lie to you. Here we go. Let me see, man. Yo, this is a historical moment. <laughs> yeah, I like this. Your mom made it? Yeah, keep going. <laughs> you can keep going. Keep going, you can have both. You wanna have all three? What, do you what? do something to it? <laughs> I didn't do anything to it. This, is, this isn't MJ with the pizza and the last dance. This is all, this is actually from love. I want you to succeed. Let's go. Man. Is that probably the best tasting thing that you had to, yeah. out of all of them? It's very rich. I like that. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. And if you've noticed, if you've seen Indian men in their 40s, 50s, and 60s, <laughs> and they're kind of shaped like E.T., <laughs> it's because of stuff like that. <laughs> I got one last thing to talk to you about. Can we clear this real yes. quick? Can you do this for me? Yes. We're going to clear this real quick. One of the things I love about you, man, and the reason why I wanted to bring you on the show to plug the foundation, mm -hmm. is your humility. You know, you are obviously one of the biggest superstars in the world, but you're kind, you're empathetic, you're humble in a league where that's not incentivized. But I'm, I gotta be honest with you, uh, you were in a press conference recently. Yes. And they asked you, you're a two-time MVP, and they asked you, who's the best player in the league? Yes. And this is what you said, let's play the tape. Do I believe I'm the best player in the world? No. The, the best player in the world is uh, Steph Curry. Until, until the next player. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that. You, 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 look, you got this immigrant dad green card visa energy. <laughs> but you're a citizen, bro. You deserve to be here, all right? And this whole being nice to everybody else in the league, Giannis? <laughs> They're going headhunting for you. <laughs> you think those guys want to be nice to you? I don't think so. No. <laughs> so you got to talk that talk right here, right now, in New York City. Now I know talking trash isn't your strength. That's my strength. So you do it for so me? So I wrote you some trash talk right here to some of the top players in the league, and I want you to go to camera three right now. Talk that mother Talk! Let's go. Let's go headhunting, Giannis. Okay, there we go. Listen, Luca. Yeah. Even though you're running with Kyrie and you have him on your team, I'm coming for you guys. I can't say no, it. No! No! I can't say Give it. Give the people what they want, Giannis! Let's do this. Let's do this. I'll do it. I'll, right. I'll be your shit talk translator. Okay. Let's do this. Get it on me. Let's go. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! 
What's up, Luca? <laughs> Even though you're running with Kyrie, the scouting report is out on you. You got sausage arms and cankles. <laughs> My man, for a dude from Slovenia, you sure look like a dude from Alabama. <laughs> and you're gonna get this work in the postseason. That's what you gotta say! <laughs> all right, all right, fine, 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 fine. He likes Luca, he respects his game. What about Joe Kick? We gotta talk about Joker. I wrote some stuff about Joker, <laughs> right here. Here you go. This is Giannis giving Jokic that trash talk. Joker, how are you gonna make it through the finals where you look like you can barely make it through a Burger King drive-thru? <laughs> Let's, Let's go. This is what we want! This is America! Yes! Keep going. Jokic, I love your game. No, <laughs> no! No, it's like this. Go back, prompter. Hey, Jokic, Joker, how are you gonna make it through the finals when you look like you can barely make it through a Burger King drive through You shouldn't be on the court. You should be checking IDs outside of a hookah bar. You gotta say it like that. Let's keep going. Let's keep giving these people this work. Kevin Durant, let's go. <laughs> you keep joining super teams to win the NBA title. How about, how about we work out together some time so I can teach you how to carry your own team? Oh! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I like that one. It was like a little simpler. KD. Where's the camera? Where's the camera? KD, yeah. you're one of the best scorers to ever play this game. I respect your game. You know, uh, you've lead by example for 15 years. So you were I my hate this. You were my I favorite player growing up. I hate this. And Entertain me. I respect your game. I'm sorry. Come no. <laughs> on. No. All right, do the LeBron one, and we're going to get out of here. But make this one count. LeBron, I love your game, man. No, 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 no. Hey, you're, you're, what is this? You're, you're LeBron, not part of no. I love your game. You're the king for a reason. Goat just broke the all-time um, scoring uh, record. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Uh, he's a blueprint. You're a blueprint, man. Oh, my we, God. We, 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 <laughs> we. <laughs> All right. All right, listen. Listen, man, um, everybody we talked about in the NBA, uh, please don't come kill me. <laughs> um, Giannis, this is what we love most about you, man, in all seriousness. Thank you so much for the work that you're doing in the league. You're setting such a great image for kids around the world. Um, I'm so honored that I've gotten a chance to get to know you, and I can't wait to see all the amazing work you're going to do for the Charles Antetokounmpo <laughs> Family Foundation. My brother, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Giannis Antetokounmpo, everybody.